Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, y'all. This is your girl, Butterfly. How are y'all doing on this Work On It For Yourself Wednesday? Guess what? Hug yourself. Oh, baby. Do you realize when you hug yourself, oh, y'all, this hair, you automatically produce a smile. Well, that's what happens. We automatically produce these brilliant smiles that we have, even without our smile being perfect we still are here to work on it for self wednesday right yeah y'all so you know as always forgive my eyes because i'm still learning how to record and they have all these devices like boom 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 okay so all right but anyway y'all work on it for yourself wednesday today is an important day you know why because we are halfway through the middle of the week. And so we've already made love to ourselves. We've already taught ourselves something new. And here it is. We're working on it for ourselves. Let's start with love. Let's start with love. What is your definition of love? This morning, we're about to be in this quick reality check. It's a reality check, y'all. How do you love you? It's only defined by how you define love. <laughs> we all have different definitions of love, right? Maybe our definition of love came from the dictionary. Maybe our definition of love came from the household that we grew up in. Maybe our definition of love came from the streets, right? As they call it, that ghetto love. Um, yeah. Whatever your definition of love is, that is determining how you are loving yourself. Whatever you have ingested into your world, into your life, into your heart, into your mind, is how you love yourself. And sometimes the way we love in ourselves is not good enough. It's not reality. We are sitting in the illusion of what we've been conditioned to accept and believe. Today is the day on this Work On It For Yourself Wednesday that I, Butterfly, who is, who's here for you and here for me, and here for me and here for you, Give you permission to relearn and redefine the way you love yourself, especially if it's not good, if it's not healthy. You know, Johnny Taylor said, it's time we got a good love. It's okay for us to have a good love, but are we truly loving ourselves in order to include another person, right? In order to be happy and satisfied with the love that we have so that we can share it. Mm. Mm. Me and these teeth. Okay. <laughs> and this makeup. Because I'm not good with putting this makeup stuff on. Y'all Y'all forgive me. But yeah. Um, how do you define love? How are you loving yourself? Is your reality where you want to be? If people see you not loving yourself, guess what they're going to do? They're going to half love you or not love you at all. And don't nobody want to be half loved or not loved. People watch how you love yourself, how you lift yourself, how you gift yourself, how you protect yourself, how you nurture yourself, how you support yourself. And if they don't see you loving you, Baby, they'll walk all over you. Stop it. Stop it. And I mean stop it. On this work on for yourself Wednesday, we are stopping that. We are stopping lit. We are stopping the process that we're engaging in that's not reflective of self-love. You are worthy. You are valued. You are important. As they say. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm serious, baby, because I, mm, 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 mm. no, 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 no. I am Butterfly, the book baby. A part of me being who I am as a writer, as an author, as a motivational speaker is to let you know that there is a place for you. 
but you have to find that place. You got to find that love. You got to find that motivation. You got to find it. I am here to help, encourage, and assist. If you need it, drop in my DM because I have a program that I can offer you, share with you. This here in the morning, this is free. You understand? This is free 99, as they say. I come here for you. I come here for me. I come here for me. I come here for you. Because guess what? The things that I know, I've learned from. I'm fortunate enough to have grown up with a mother that loves me unconditionally. So, of course, I know how to give love. I also know when I have not been loved. I also know when I've not been appreciated. That reality check, sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow, baby. Hard, they have said bittersweet, ain't nothing sweet about it. It's all bitter. It's all bitter when you don't know how to love yourself because the definition of what you've learned and what you've been conditioned to believe is not benefiting you in the long run. It's not benefiting you in the long run. We've sugarcoated shit long enough. Today is the day that we began to look at our definition of love. And if it needs to be worked on, we start working on it. We're working on it for ourselves because nobody else is going to do the work for us. No one else is going to sit there and tell us how to love us. They don't know. That's external love. We looking for the internal love that makes the heart do this. Right? We don't want it skipping beats. We don't want it going too slow. We don't want it going too fast. We want it just right. We want our heart just right. Come on, beat with me. Walk with me. Today is not a time or a place where we should not put our self-love on front street our self-love should be on front street everybody should know how much we love us because they see it they see it in our healthy actions and our healthy behaviors and our healthy talk and our healthy walk do you know that the way we talk says a lot about us do you know that the way we walk says a lot about us do you know the way that we engage with others say a lot about us? If, if we're always in the process of overcompensating to be in somebody else's space, to be in somebody else's arena, that means that we haven't learned our love, language, value, or worth. Y'all, just work on it for yourself, Wednesday. Come on and hug yourself one more time. Hug yourself one more time, baby, because them hugs, them self-hugs, let you know that it's going to be okay. And I, we don't always get it right. Sometimes we get it wrong. But if we know that we love ourselves, part of that means that we're going to keep going and keep trying and keep going and keep trying and keep going and keep trying until we get it right. All right? There's not a lot of time or space in the world for you not to love you. The reality of it is we are sitting too long. Walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. We are sitting too long in spaces with people placing things that are not a part of our love. They're not a part of our future. They're not a part of our happiness. The smiles that we have are fake. The conversation that we have are fake. Ooh, fake love. Fake love. What, what can you do with fake love? And I'm not, oh, let me clear it up. Let me, let me say this too. I'm not going to necessarily say it's fake love. I'm going to say that they didn't learn how to love themselves, right? So a person that hasn't learned how to love themselves cannot love you properly. They grew up differently. They learned their love. If you learn, if you learn, it's the same thing. I mean, it, you know, it's like preaching to the choir, as they say. If you learned your love in your household, 
and your partner learned their love language in the street. Because they're always going to be in the streets. They're always going to be in the sheets. They're always going to be whoring. They're always going to be hiding. They're always going to be acting a fool with you. Because the love you give is pure love. You've learned to love from home. You've learned to love from a circle where we embrace each other. Good, bad, and different. We still love. We may not like what the person do, but we love them. We know what love is. We know how it feels. I'm telling you something that I know. I sat in a, a situation too long where I wasn't being loved enough. Not that I wasn't being loved. I wasn't being loved enough. And I wasn't being loved in the, in the realm of support, protection, nurturing, uh, lifting, gifting. Mm-mm. Not that the person didn't love me. They loved me. But they grew up on street love. They grew up on a love uh, that was not real. So when I say it's a reality check, it's a reality check, baby. Come on, let's check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Let's get it in line. Let's tell ourselves that we are worthy. Let's do it. We got permission. This is Wednesday. Work on it for yourself. Don't go another day. Don't go another minute. Don't go another second. Without checking your reality on the definition of love and how you want to and need to incorporate it into your self-worth. It's over today. Stop letting people not love you, half love you. I'm about to cuss. Stop it today. We're going to stop it today. No, you're not going to run over me with a steamroller when I've given you my best. And sometimes it's hard for us to sit back. You know, take yourself out of the situation. Let them people do what they need to do. I ain't even worried about these teeth no more because the conversation is too heavy. Let them folks do what they need to do. Don't let people pillar talk you into thinking, oh, I do love you, babe. And pillar talk you right back into that same old bullshit. Y'all, I, I have a podcast. It's on Spreaker.com. It's called Life and Bullshit. If you get a chance, go over there. If you need to hear this again, go over there because I'm going to upload this over there and it's there consistency. I also have a YouTube channel. It's over there consistently. Right? The reminders are there. I have 25, 34. I should have 100 videos on there by now. And I probably have. I know I've done hundreds of these morning inspirations but over time you lose stuff and then you get into a point where you wasn't really thinking about your brand i've had periods where i wasn't thinking about my brand because i was too busy thinking about something else right not no more i am here i am loving me i am gifting me i'm lifting me i'm protecting me on a different level i always have but now i'm on a different level i'm on a new level and that new level don't include anything external. And that's what I'm telling you today. It's about you. Do what you have to do for you. This is your girl, Butterfly. I love you because it's in my DNA and it's agape. I want to see everybody win. I want to see you do better. You can do better. You will do better. You will work on it for yourself this Wednesday so that you can implement it into your continuous growth, into your continuous happiness. Y'all go on and get you a slice of pizza. When that red gravy is settled on your stomach, baby, any kind of comfort food, but I say pizza. When that red gravy is settled on your stomach, go on and get you some ice cream because what? Ice cream make everything better. Good mornings are better than any last night. That's why I come in here in the morning because whatever happened yesterday, it's over. It's gone. We don't have to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? And when you finish going to get you a little drink, a drink. I ain't encouraging alcoholism, but you know, a little mixed drink ain't going to hurt you. You know, applesauce, cranberry juice, whatever you need to, you know, please into your palate. Y'all stay hydrated out there because it is hot. It is hot. We got a few more weeks of uh, this scorching summer heat. And then we'll be into the fall. Y'all be safe. Protect yourself out there. Love yourself. Nurture yourself. Gift yourself. Lift yourself. Support yourself. Uh, so y'all, if y'all here in, in uh, 
Memphis, November the 3rd is my 8th annual event, Divas and Dukes. This year's theme is Dunks. I'm in the process of collecting gently used tennis shoes for our unhoused population. So if you have anything you want to donate, drop in my DM. I will come and pick it up, and me and my team will clean it up and have it ready. We are feeding. Our goal is to feed 100 people. Last time we did it, which was two years ago, we wind up feeding between, I think, 79, 81 people. You know what I'm saying? So we out here doing big things. So your girl, Butterfly, I will see y'all tomorrow for, um, yeah, Think About It Thursday. What are we thinking about? Why are we thinking about it? And how is it going to benefit us in the long run? This is your girl, Butterfly. I'll see y'all tomorrow.